Okay, today we are going to be using some oil pastels to make a picture of pumpkin. So I got some oranges picked out. Kind of a dark red orange here I'm going to use. Yellow. A little bit green. So, I'm going to start with my regular orange and just do a big shape, circle-ish. doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And I'm filling up my whole picture plane here with this. Then I'm going to go ahead and lightly fill this in. And then if I want my pumpkin to be smooth, with oil pastels, you can kind of rub, whoops, rub your finger to get that smooth look right across the paper. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more down. If you don't want it to look smooth, if you want it to pick up the texture from the paper, from what you're drawing on top of, like the, paper, the table, you can just not rub it with your finger. Okay, so I have like my outline here. I think I need more. So I'm going to push down a lot harder. That looks better to me. And then when we're drawing a pumpkin, there's these segments that kind of split the pumpkin up. They're actually called ribs. And they go from the stem down to the bottom of the pumpkin. And so we're going to add some of those. I'll use my dark orange. Oh, it's more like red. There's one, and then from here, to give the illusion that the pumpkin is round, I'll do round lines for each rib. Oh, gonna hold my paper steady. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna build up a few layers. and kind of smooth that out. If I want to add any white spots to my pumpkin, that's what I pulled the yellow out for. Just kind of building that up on top of the orange. So the nice thing about oil pastels is that you can build them up and then blend them a little bit and soften the edges with your finger. The only part about softening the edges with your finger is that your finger will get dirty. So I try and keep like one finger for orange I might blend some green later, so I'll keep some one finger clean for green. Uh, where's my green? Okay, let's do a stem right here. Just kind of a rectangle-ish. And I might put a little bit of yellow in that too, just to give it a little light. And then what's a really neat thing with pumpkins is these tendrils that are just... These wavy lines like this, they kind of come off like that. Okay, I'm going to add some grass here. And I'm just going to make these kind of zigzag lines, make it look like grass. I'm going to do that all the way across my paper. And if I want to, give it a little more depth, make it a little more interesting to look at, 
and get some other colors to kind of mix in here with the grass. So I know that green is made up of yellow and blue. So I can kind of mix that in there. And I'll get some lighter greens where I put my yellow. Got some blue here. Make it look like maybe there's some shadows. I'm gonna use my blue. And then maybe go over it again with some green. And I'll show you a neat trick to kind of fill in the sky a little quickly. Got a light blue here and it's all peeled off. So I can just kind of put it on the edge and run it across my paper. It gives it a nice kind of sky look. Probably would have been even better to do this before I did the tendrils. Because now I'm like smearing the tendrils. So I have to be a little careful right there. Okay. So that is our oil pastel pumpkins.